Yo, what is going on guys? Today I wanted to talk about a little hint that we got when they announced the remastering of Z1. But before I get into that, I just want to say, please go check out the link in the description to swap.gg. That is a new trading site that they're kind of on the rise. It hasn't been around for that long, but you can trade any kind of items to any other game as far as CSGO, PUBG, and H1Z1. So, say you're like me and you play mostly H1Z1 nowadays, but you play other games too. I had a $3 t-shirt that was on PUBG. I was not going to use that, so I traded that to some H1Z1 skins. I also traded a bunch of my old CSGO items. Uh, you can also combine them, you know, take a bunch of CSGO items, put them with some PUBG items, mix in some H1 items, and trade them all for like a CSGO item or, you know, any other item that you want to trade for. So it's a really good site. I use that to trade all of my, you know, leftover CSGO and PUBG items to H1Z1 items last night. But getting into the video, when they announced the Z1, we were expecting before that to have an announcement of a new map that was Z1 inspired. That's what we were expecting. We were going to switch from this map, you know, Z2, back to a map that they were creating that was Z1 inspired. Now, when they announced the actual map, they said we're bringing back Z1 and... We're also working on another map. I'll play the clip of Castoro now. We already have a new map in production, but I'm happy to report that we've heard some of these requests. Hmm. Hmm. And I'm pleased to announce that we are going to remaster Z1 in the spirit of a fiercely competitive game. As soon as I get back in the office on Monday, we're getting to work on that for you. He says that they're going to also be, they're already working on a new map, but they're going to be bringing back Z1. So there's a third map in progress. Now that, it's until how long that'll take. You know, it probably won't be anytime soon, and it probably won't even be anytime soon before Z1. I've done been telling people that. They've been asking me, you know, how long will it be till Z1? And like I said, the only news we have is it's between a month and a year as far as, you know, uh, you know, Tim Spink Dildo tweeting and asking about it. And he said it's somewhere in between there when he asked, it, would it be a month or another year? So we don't really know when the Z1 map's going to be out. And we don't know when the third map that is he's talking about is going to be out. But they are working on a third map. Now, I don't know what they're going to do. I've been asked a lot. Are they going to bring out Z1 Remastered until they make this third map and then get rid of Z1 Remastered and we'll have this third map? Or are they going to have both of the maps? I don't honestly know. You know, that's all up to speculation. But in my mind, unless the player count grows a whole lot like they said they're expecting it to, I can't see them keeping two maps in rotation because there's not enough of a player base to even fill up in a West early in the morning. So... I can't see them having two maps to choose from unless this game grows substantially. Do I see the game growing substantially? Yes, it already is. A lot of people have been saying, you know, since TwitchCon, uh, they watch the, you know, Twitch uh, events, you know, the Invitational and stuff, and they are going to come back to H1Z1. Uh, whether they'll stay, you know, you don't know, but it is nice to see the population already, you know, rising. And when Z1 comes out, I fully expect the population to at least double, if not triple. You know, with the whole unbanning of China and all that, you know, the game is growing a lot. And if they announce console, whether you want console or not, it's going to grow even more. So a third map could come out and they could keep it to where you want to play between Z1 and that map and have the option to play between both. That would be really cool if you could do that. But I don't know if they would split the player base up like that because, you know, there could be... People dropping 30 bombs on the Z1 map and then dropping 20 kills on the new map. And people would say, well, you're trash. You got it on the Z1 map. Try to get 30 kills on the new map and, you know, vice versa. So there would probably, you know, be a lot of conflict there. And I can't really see them, you know, doing it. But who knows? You know, there is a third map in the works, though. That is kind of cool. Um, I'm going to be live on Twitch today, all day, most of the day. I've been streaming every single day, eight hours a day at least, having a ton of fun on this game, even though, you know, it does trigger me sometimes. I have been, you know, enjoying myself for the most part. I played for eight hours last night and didn't even, you know, it didn't even phase me. But hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave a like and a comment and let me know what you think they're going to do as far as the new map goes, you know, after they release it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.